I just bought another house. And I'm driving there right now. I'm gonna show it to you. I'll show you the comps, show you why we bought it. Wow, I actually can't believe I got this deal because I bought it off Facebook. Well, Facebook was the reason I found out about the house. I'll, I'll tell you the deal, I'll, I'll tell you the story. But we're about to roll up on it. So let's let's talk about the house. I'll show you the house, I'll show you the comps. And uh, yeah, let's, let's get into it. You know what? Let's actually just start with the comps because the first comp is actually right here. So I'll get out and I'll show you this very first one because knowing what stuff sells for in your neighborhood is the key to getting a good deal. So check this place out. So this house behind me with this chicken wire fence, this place sold as is for $535,000. That's a really good anchor to kind of know in your mind. Now, let me bring you to another one. Not only was it a fixer upper, but it's a model match as well. Okay, this place behind me with the dumpster, I saw it was listed for $610,000. Called, did a little bit of research and find the place sold for over the asking price. I'm like 610 grand, fixer sold for 535. This is going for over 610, but I'm like, okay. Guess the place we got this place for, $465,000. And you might wonder, well, how did you hear about the house? Well, remember how I said Facebook? Yeah, here's the actual Facebook video from a realtor that I'm friends with on Facebook. He's actually a great guy, love working with him too. Just the straight shooter, love that about these folks. But uh, yeah, I saw that ad on Facebook, which is kind of like, hey, I got this place coming soon on the market. And I called him up and I'm like, I want to go see it. <laughs> let's, get, let's get the ladder too. But one of the things he said was, ah, Kevin, you know, we're, we're just doing some work to the house. Uh, we could get you in a couple days. And I go, I'm 30 seconds away. I'm already heading over, getting in my car. Let me just go see it while the work's going on because if I buy it, I want you to stop doing all the work you're doing because I want to do the work. I actually already brought some stuff to bring over. These are just some older materials that I had and I figure why waste them? I'll just bring them over here. We're going to be using this stuff anyway. All right, ready to go inside? I got the key, found the key, ready to go inside. Uh, I guess I could make a quick note about uh, you know negotiating the deal. I did come in the deal at 450. Uh, we had another opportunity going on, so we were thinking about going with the other opportunity. But this ends up getting multiple offers, and I realized ah 465. You got a 535 comp. I did a flip in this neighborhood last year, so I know the neighborhood. And you got that 610 plus comp over there that's remodeled. That 535s as is. Fixer upper took like six months to sell. 465, man, what am I talking? 15 grand, just buy the thing. <laughs> so here it is. Hello. Welcome to the family room. Kitchen hallway down this way, dining this way. So it needs some work. <laughs> well, there's no doubt about that, but let me show you this. I mean, obviously paint, flooring, scrape the ceiling, some landscape work, the roof needs a little bit of love, but check this out. Brand spanking new furnace, plenum. This is freaking awesome and it's installed by a company I know. That's like a free upgrade because of the condition of the house. Nobody cares about that. I mean, there's not even flooring in here. Dun, 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 dun. Da -na 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 -na. <laughs> Gotta love a blue toilet and what the heck is this? Oh, that's actually really cool. Wow, I haven't seen that before in one of these. Hey, yeah, you kinda got the fiberglass enclosure over here. You know, it all needs a little bit of love. The nice thing is, those fiberglass enclosures though, those are really easy to kind of refinish or replace if you wanted to. Here's the other bathroom, this is the guest bath. Remember folks, the noob's gonna come in here and they're gonna demo both of these bathrooms. I look at it and go, look what I did in my last project. Here's the before shower tile and here's the after. Like, you can do so much with glazing and replacing. Slider opens a little bit rough. Now a noob will go in here and go, we need a new slider. You know, putting that thing in, that's gonna cost you probably $1,400 plus stucco repair. A pro goes, we can take the slider off, clean the tracks, get somebody to replace the little wheels on the slider, work it as new. Okay, now here's something the pros look for when you're doing new deals. You see what this is right here? This is a copper pipe. Unless you're like, ah, big deal. 
Well, when these were built, they were built with galvanized plumbing. In fact, the last project we did still has galvanized plumbing. Uh, this valve is leaking, but whatever, we'll replace that. But having copper, big plus. And I also saw some indications of copper under the sinks in the bathrooms, which means this whole thing was probably replumbed. Take a peek at the backyard and point out three pro things here. There you go. Just, just in this shot right here, what do we have? Vinyl fence, thank you, free upgrade for me. No two-story neighbor behind me or to the side, they're actually lower than I am, or to this side, which is great. This here is a coax cable. We could just get rid of that, so that'll clean up the backyard a little bit. So we got neighbors, we got fence. What's the other pro thing? Well, it's not something you change. The other pro thing is this sort of extended lot back here is a really desirable to people that want to stay in properties like this for the long term. I mean, look, they even got an avocado tree over here. Ooh, this is not good though. This is bad. See, the downside with avocado trees is they attract rats and critters. So very important to have in your lease addenda when you're renting these things out that uh, you want the tenant to make sure they take care of any kind of pests related to this tree here or just clean up the avocados. Leaning fence I could probably prop back up and paint. Uh, chimney needs a chimney cap. Love to be able to pull one of these walls back without it being load bearing or structural. So let's see what we got. To get to here, no, we have a vent right here, which is gonna help us get there, and the cooktop vent, and then we got another vent right here. So we'll know that the walls we're looking for between those two points, that'll really help us when we're up there. Always wear a respirator when you go up into these attics. It's not worth it. Oh, crap. Okay, two things in that shot. Copper plumbing throughout the house, asbestos ducts though. Not what I was expecting. That's an asbestos boot. This is all, oh no! Oh, come on, that's bad. That's asbestos, my friends. And that is an asbestos problem. That's rats right there. Rat turds from all the avocados. They're living in the ducts. Oh my gosh, the rats are living in the ducts. Right into the heater. So they could stay warm. Holy <laughs> crap. <laughs> That's not good either. That's not looking good. Look at that. That looks like my number one wall. That's my number two wall right there. That's not good. Bad news, both of the walls look load bearing to a point. Let's see what we can do with it. Very nicely insulated though overall. You know what? Sometimes people say things like, stocks are easier. They're right. <laughs> stocks are easier, that was ridiculous. Rat poop, torn up asbestos ducts. I guess the difference between me though and the stock people is I don't mind doing that, especially when I'm buying an asset for 465 and this thing's gonna be worth 600. Can't do that in stocks. <laughs> oh, quick reminder, 20% off for the investing course ends today using Wedge 100. And I'm standing outside of a deal I literally wedged with a $100,000 deal. <laughs> oh, a little bit. Oh, you get the That's all rat, rat poop. Oh, really? <laughs> all right, so what else do we gotta fix? The noob leaves this kind of crap. Or the super noob comes in here and as a landscape contractor, redo all the landscaping and spends twenty dollars or $30,000 in the front. I don't wanna spend that on the entire house. This just needs a new concrete pad, a quick little pour and we'll be done. Obviously we got some leaks here, okay? A pro just looks at this and goes, no problem, we'll cut it out. It's probably a pinhole leak in the copper behind one of the solders over here. Not very uncommon at all. Yeah, I'll definitely be getting rid of this sink because the pro looks at this and goes, see what this is? Water softener loop. We'll put the water softener right, Da. This is a rat's nest waiting to happen. This is gross. I mean, this is like, oh, this, this has got to go. Ooh, wallpaper. So a lot of people will actually look at a house like this and go, oh, single pane windows. Yeah, well, at least they're metal and I don't have to come in here and fix the wood windows. This, this is fine. It's not like it gets hot around here. <laughs> now with the wall, this might actually not be so bad. See where the vent is? Well, this appears to be where the load sits on this wall. So I might be able to get rid of from here over, which will do a dramatic change 
to the feeling of this while actually still keeping this sort of functional space right here. That's, that's not gonna be a bad idea. Now this here ladder is absolutely the wrong type of ladder to be trying to get on the roof with. But I don't need to go all the way up. I just need to go somewhat up. All right, what do we got? So what can we see here? Well, we can see the ridge caps are pretty messed up. We might need some new caps and we've got some, uh, some loss of sort of the granules on the roof, but this roof could still have five years in it. You know, it needs a little bit of a tune up, but I think this could survive if we do the caps and touch it up. I'm not too anxious about replacing this yet. <sighs> well, folks, there you have it. You wanna make a hundred grand in six weeks buying wedge deals, or do you wanna make some money in an index fund? I guess the choice is yours. If you have questions, you can always stay tuned to this channel. Hit me up on Instagram, or of course, meet me in Seattle for our next crash course on real estate investments. We've got Austin coming up, San Francisco, Miami, and of course, check out the real estate investing course link below. You know, for what it's worth, people like to bag on buying small deals because they can't sell these as a real estate fund. You can't do these individual wedge deals and make a hundred grand here, make a hundred grand here. But in my opinion, this is the easiest way to build the fastest amount of wealth in America, buying wedge deals yourself. Yeah, that means you're gonna have to go buy some outlets. Yeah, you're gonna have to hire a property manager and a realtor and you're gonna have to get a loan. But come on, it's so well compensated. Why would you not do this? The only reason you wouldn't do this is because you're afraid you're going to make a mistake. But when you get into deals like this, I can make $100,000 worth of mistakes, still learn something and be okay. You know, then people like to say, oh, well, Kevin, you can't scale this. What do I need to scale this for? You own 20 of these deals and you get a 100K discount on each of them, that's $2 million. Then every single month, the tenant's paying it off for you. Surround yourself with good contractors and property managers. There's your scale. Your scale is hiring other people. You have a plumbing repair that needs to be done, you call a plumber. There's your scale. Look, the only time scale matters in real estate is when you're trying to sell a fund. That's the fact of the matter. You too. Hi, Jack. Should, should we play Play-Doh? Yeah, Jack, you wanna say hi to YouTube? Hi, YouTube. Yeah. Yeah? Max, where are you going? <laughs> Oh, it's like this, here. Max, uh-uh. I got that for you, Jack. You wanna play with it? Yeah. All right, let's go do it. Let's bring it in. Hey, Lauren, tell me, what do you think about on the spot? Oh, it was super ugly in like a really good way. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. Yeah. Let's go play, Jack. Yeah, Max, say LLC. No, say LLC. I can't say that. He can't say that? Yeah. Can you say LLC? LLC. Yeah, that's that's what's in that box, Max. No, LLC. Now let's open it inside. We'll get a scissor. Yeah, I already got it. Oh, you got it all? You get it open? I, I opened it. Wow. Open means open. I'll see you in there. I'm coming right now. Okay. Hi, Max. Hi. <laughs>